Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's pre orders, and they are live. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so we got quite a few new releases this week, so let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look. So, first off is the new base game for Warhammer Underworlds Winter Mall. 95 bucks for this bad boy. I do like the Games Workshop kept at 100. Very cool new warbands as well in this setup. I'm not sure the exact like backstory and everything behind them, but they're definitely like super unique. I like the idea of them. Very, very grim dark and everything. They definitely stand out compared to like other warbands and stuff like that that we've seen in the past. So got to give them five stars on these bad boys. And then moving over to the Flesh Eater Quartz as well. Uh, again, just super grim dark setup right here. Definitely a big fan of this guy right here with the wings jumping off. Very active pose. Some of the other ones are a little bit underwhelming relative, but uh, overall, really cool set. Games Workshop definitely keeping up with their Underworlds Warbands being some of like the most unique and awesome models. Uh, it does include all of the dice, the game boards, everything you need to play, all the tokens and everything like that. So very cool, very nice setup right here and a great jumping off point for anybody looking to get started in Warhammer Underworlds. And if you're not specifically familiar with Warhammer Underworlds, it's cool because it combines like a hex game system, miniature war game, and then also like a card game as well. So you get sort of like the best of all the worlds. All right, and then jumping back over here, we've got the dice and cards and everything from last week. Got a couple of the large Forge World items coming back as well. Some of the resin ones, some of the plastic, all that good stuff. Lots of old classics for the Orc range, including the Orc and Goblin Tribes Battalion. Uh, and then we see the new Warhammer Horus Heresy Solar Auxilla decal sheet. A couple of the new tanks as well as the storm section and everything like that. Basically like a fully flushed out Sola Auxilla range. Uh, very cool. A lot of this stuff featured in the box set. Obviously some new stuff as well. But really, really nice models right here. Definitely love the look of the new stuff. Uh, and these are all leftovers from last week. Uh, but moving down, we have Endred Har, the Riven Hound. Uh, so World Eaters Forge World Expert Kit. 56 bucks for him. Definitely on the pricey side. I'm not sure why he's so much more expensive than most of what they release from Forge World, like the individual characters. Maybe he's like larger in size or stature or something like that, but uh, definitely on the pricey side, even for Forge World. All right, and then we have the new Black Shields transfer sheet. 35 bucks for this. Some really, really cool transfers on this setup right here. Definitely some unique stuff. And the Beta Decima book as well. And then just scrolling down here, we see a bunch of the new stuff for Legion Imperialis. So we have the infantry and then vehicle markings transfer sheets. 35 bucks a pop for those bad boys. We see the Legion Imperialis, Manufactorum Imperialis. I don't think this was specifically mentioned. So I'm not sure if this is just like unexpectedly popping up or if this was like previously shown off. Uh, but definitely a cool setup right here. So some cool new like crane setups and everything like that. Some generatoriums, armored containers, towers, all kinds of cool stuff in this setup right here. 65 bucks for this. Again, I'm not sure exactly who would be like after this, but uh, it's definitely a pretty cool set. A lot of like nice little scatter terrain and everything to add some flavor to your games. 65 bucks for this in the past we've seen a lot of these terrain sets were underproduced so even if this is going to be part of the range permanently i would expect something like this to sell out all right and then we have the legion imperialis medusas and basilisk 50 bucks for those you get eight in the set some very cool stuff right here cool tanks definitely nice to see eight of these in the set for 50 bucks and then scrolling down we have the drop pods so you're going to get four of the drop pods in the set 50 bucks for those not sure why you get so many fewer drop pods for 50 bucks I would think that they're about the same size as the tanks. But again, I'm not as familiar with the Legion Imperialis stuff. And it definitely seems like there's quite a bit of variance. Uh, we also see a couple more items that we weren't necessarily expecting. So we have the Legion Imperialis Warmaster Heavy Battle Titan with Plasma Destructors. This thing is absolutely massive. 170 bucks for that. It was not on the pre-order list right here. But this thing is massive. Again, I would expect this to sell out. Looks like it's going to be super popular. It's obviously very big, very chunky. And a lot of this stuff so far has been underproduced. It should be part of the range permanently going forward. It's strange that it didn't show up in the actual pre-order list, but very, very cool. Uh, and then we have the Legion Imperialis Warbringer Nemesis. So the Legion Imperialis Warbringer Nemesis Titan with Quake Cannon, Volcano Cannon, and Laser Blaster. So I think this one was previously offered, but just has like some different weapon configurations. 100 bucks for this bad boy. Again, not on the pre-order price list, but pretty cool. Not nearly as chunky as the one we just looked at. But again, a lot of this stuff has been underproduced. So if you are specifically after one of these bad boys, even though it's going to be part of the permanent range, I wouldn't be hesitant if you want one of these bad boys. All right, and let me see the Legion Imperialis Warhound Scout Titans. So we had the Legion Imperialis Warhound Scout Titans with Turbo Laser Destructors and Vulcan Mega Bolters. So I believe this is the first time these things are offered separately from like one of the box sets. So they were previously in some of the various box sets. 
This is the standard configuration for the weapons. It's 75 bucks for two of these. I really would have rather see Games Workshop price these at 50 bucks for two. I'm not sure why they went with the 75 for two price point. I don't know if it's like points based or size based or what, but they are very cool models and super detailed. Gotta love like the amount of detail they're able to cram into these tiny little models. Very, very cool and glad to see these individually offered. All right, and then we also have the Legion Imperialis Arvis Lighters. So eight of those in a set for 50 bucks. Come with the flying stands and everything. Very cool. I know people are excited for those. Legion Imperialis Land Raider Proteus. Uh, so you're going to get six of these. They are a little bit chunkier than some of the other tanks. So you get a couple less of them. 50 bucks for those bad boys. Uh, and then we have the Legion Imperialis Dire Wolves. So the Dire Wolf Heavy Scout Titans. Again, very, very cool models. Tons of detail packed into these bad boys. They've got like the massive Titan cannon on top. But like the stubby little arms right here. Very cool models right here. Glad to see these bad boys hitting the shelves. Again, 75 bucks for two of them. It seems like overall Games Workshop is kind of sticking to like the 50 or 75 price point. Otherwise, I would expect to see like a little bit more variance between like some of the regular Scout Titans and the Dire Wolves. Uh, but very cool models nonetheless. Two of these for 75 bucks. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then we also have the alternatives for the Warhound Titans with Ursus Claws and Malta Lances. So, I believe these ones are brand new. At one point in time, I think Games Workshop was selling like the upgrade frames with these weapons on them, but now you can pick up the kit itself with those weapon upgrades as well. 75 bucks for two of those. Pretty cool models right here, super detailed. If we just look at the sprues right here, we can see it's like the standard sprues and then the weapon upgrade sprues as well. Very, very cool. I'm sure you guys have a better idea about this than I do, uh, but very nice to see them coming out as an independent kit, 75 bucks for two. All right, and then we're getting down to the Necromunda stuff right here. So we have the Wasteland Giant Rats, two of those for 31 bucks. The Outlander Beastmaster with the Wasteland Giant Rat, 47 bucks for the two pack of them. And then of course the Chieftain with Venom Caster, 36 bucks for that individual model. So lots of cool stuff coming out this week, lots of exciting stuff. And then we're getting into like some of the stuff from last week. And I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this stuff. I would imagine Games Workshop is underproducing it. I'm not sure if it's unintentionally underproducing it or intentionally underproducing it. But the fact of the matter is like tons of the new Orcs and Goblin stuff has sold out. I would imagine it's pretty popular having been like out of production for basically like decades. And then also like the new book and everything with the Arcane Journal coming out. But that is sold out. We also see like the classic Wyvern sold out, the Troll Hag. And then basically almost all of the reprinted stuff, including the Black Orc Big Boss new expert kit. Uh, so that is like the only new actual model that's come out here. And then the rest of these are just reprinted old kits from like decades ago. All sold out. Awesome to see that Orc Shaman as well. He was a classic in my own collection as well as like the Doom Divers and a lot of this other stuff. So very cool to see that stuff coming back. Renegades Lord of Access sold out as well. And there's just one more thing I wanted to touch on. Uh, so some people had some questions after like that previous article about the new Sigmar models. So we have Mordorn, Zane, Knight Arcanum, and then Killaboss, Zagnog. So these are two like unique collector's edition models that Games Workshop is producing. And there was some mention about basically getting the Stormcast Eternal for free with a qualifying order. And if you just scroll down, like click on the actual model and then see how much you have to spend to get that for free. If it's in GBP, 150 bucks for the Brits, USD is 240, Euro is 195. And you can just scroll down this list and see how much your qualifying order is. So if you order direct from Games Workshop from the 26th of March through the 29th of April, so basically like a one month time frame, and you spend at least this amount right here, so like 240 for us here in the United States, you're going to get this $35 model for free. So you can also just buy this model as well. So you don't have to spend the money to get it. If you're after this model specifically, you could just straight up buy it. Uh, but there was like a little bit of question about that and the way the article was worded. It's a pretty cool model and everything like that, but it's not so crazy. I think that it's worth 35 bucks on its own. The sculpt is definitely cool. I could see it as like a D&D &D character or something like that. But overall, it's a little bit lackluster for like an individual commemorative series release. And for Killaboss Zagnog, I got to say like the same thing again. Like this is a lieutenant model. There are going to be some like cool new rules and everything for this. But as we kind of wind down the edition, I'm not sure the rules are like a big selling point and the model's cool and everything. 
Same with the Stormcast. But again, it's not so unique that I'm ready to like drop 35 bucks on like an individual, what amounts to just basic Cruel Boy. Uh, but if we do just scroll down here, we'll see it is part of the commemorative series. It is available from the 29th of April until it runs out of stock. And there is no like special feature or anything like that with this model. Uh, so you're not going to be able to spend a certain amount of money and get it for free or anything like that. If you want this bad boy, you are going to have to purchase him. So very cool, big week for Underworlds players with the new little like launch starter box right here. And then of course, like lots of Legion Imperialis stuff coming as well. We saw a lot of the Orcs and Goblin stuff for Old World selling out like relatively quickly. So again, I'm not sure if a lot of that stuff was underproduced or if it's just like massively popular. Most of that stuff is going to be coming back into stock before long. So if you did miss out, no worries. There's also lots of that stuff like floating around the internet. Big week though for Legion Imperialis. Let me know which of these massive Titans or some of the tank packs that you're excited about. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products, including all of these new releases. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And Games Workshop is definitely pumping out some awesome models lately, but I'm wondering are they still having some serious supply issues? And I'm out of here.